What is going on guys, it's Wafa here, and welcome back to some more Skyrim Remastered. Now, last time we left off, we found Azura Stad, and we went to go talk to that one guy, and he apparently said that we need to, like, go into the Shadow Realm or something to go kill this one guy. But anyways, since we last left off, I did do- What in the world is Blaze doing? He's just kind of taking a dump? What are you doing? Taking a you dump? You need something, Paul? I've got something for you to go home. Go home, go do your chores. But I don't want to. Well, you've gotta. Well, I'll, all right then. You're the best. Thanks. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him keep pooping in the woods. All right, well, since I last left off, I did do a lot of stuff off camera. I did get a comment from someone saying, hey, why don't you make a spare set of armor where it has like magic enchantments? Like it'll, it'll, it'll buff your magics instead of relying on the uh, Archmage robes, which basically give you no armor. It literally gives me no armor, but it gives me 15% uh, uh, less to cast for all spells, plus 50 magicka, and magicka regenerates 100% faster. So I did that. I made myself a whole new set. Well, I didn't make myself a whole new set of Dragon Scale armor. I took all the extra uh, Dragon Scale armor off of Jazadagul, and he's wearing my old armor right now, if we go to his inventory. Uh, all of the armor he's wearing, except for the feet, and I guess also the helmet. He's wearing a helmet of water breathing. I thought that might come in handy, because apparently there's like stuff at the bottom of that lake so i might want to wear that and actually explore under there so i gave it to jazargo to kind of alleviate the carry weight off of us and let him carry around right jeez but as you can see he's wearing my old uh dragon scale helmet a legendary increases magic by 50 points now the reason why i gave that to him is because i have one that's better so uh, i think it increases by like 56 points or something on my new one so that's really cool i got myself like an elixir of enchanters or or an elixir of enchanting or something like that uh it increases enchanting stuff by 25% for like a minute and I use that to enchant all my new stuff as well as I even got new jewelry Well, I enchanted new jewelry. I'll show you guys that here in a bit as well But uh, my old armor also increased health by 50 points. So we're going to be a little bit low on health uh, Pickpocketing success 40% uh, better and by the way because just already to learn if I ever want to switch out at any time He's always there. I could just switch it out boom and I'm good to go and uh, my these are his boots I, I never I didn't enchant my old boots because I thought the the extra carry weight and all that kind of stuff was always uh, helpful So I'm keeping knows oh whoops did i give him i think i gave him my sure grip uh thing okay well i'm gonna need to take that back whoops <laughs> i think i accidentally gave that to him but yeah let's go look at my stuff so my dragon scale armor it used to give me plus 50 health or whatever now it gives me uh destruction spells cost 20 percent less or 28 percent less to cast that's really really good and uh my boots of course they're the same ones carry capacity increased by 37 points my gauntlets, they used to give me uh, better pickpocketing. Now they increase magicka by 56 points. Like I said, helmet makes my magicka regenerate 56% faster. Really, really good. Not quite the 100% that the uh, Archmage robes do right there, but still really good. And I did say I got myself new uh, new jewelry. So over here, destruction spells cost 28% less to cast. So that, I think, also stacks on top of the... Uh, 28% on my dragon scale armor and if I'm you know we're using one-handed or whatever uh, I could still get better destruction with that so that's really interesting and like I said I could always switch it out anytime because it's already goes right there and my gold ring increases magic of regeneration by 50% uh, 56 percent just like my uh my gauntlets over here and i found i had a uh, ring of imminent destruction and it makes destruction spells cost 20 percent less to cast so if i want destruction spells to cost basically nothing i could wear this ring i could have this uh necklace and this armor and it's like basically nothing it's, it's basically nothing right now but uh let me let me show you guys right now i've got fireballs in one hand and look at that look at the little magic thing on the bottom left and it regenerates like almost instantly you guys remember mad or uh, fireballs took up so much magicka i could only shoot like maybe three or four of them before i had to regain magicka and whenever i did need to regain magicka look at that it regained so fast it used to go so slowly so slowly in fact that i uh, used to actually wait for like magic potions i actually had to use magic potions and stuff like that so now this is like really 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 good so i'm very very glad that i did this thank you to whoever told me to do this in the comments because of course oh and by the way i uh, because we're using uh this right here i did also see i have a ring of blocking right here blocking uh costs 40 or block 40 percent more damage with your shield so i might actually get that ring and uh keep this uh necklace or what do i want uh which one is it magic 
magical regenerates 56% faster. Yeah, I think our magical regenerates pretty fast already. Don't think I really need another one, to be quite honest. So I think we're good to go, especially because we're going to be using the Spellbreaker in one hand. So might as well be able to block a lot more damage. 40% more, especially because our uh, blocking is still pretty uh, pretty low and basically nothing right now. So <laughs> might as well uh, make up for that with that uh, ring or whatever we're bringing. So that's really cool. Anyways, like I said last time, uh, we left off, we need to go talk to some fella. Yeah, we need to go back to the Winterhold, not to the college, because he's not a part of the college. And uh, we need to go over here, and he's going to, I guess, take us to the Shadow Realm or whatever. <laughs> so that's going to be kind of cool, especially with our uh, brand new increased destruction abilities, I guess you could say, because everything's a lot cheaper and all that. I can send you into Azura's Star as soon as you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready to enter the Star. Let's go, hey, do. Okay, stand very still. This might sting. No, he's literally eating and he's going to casually take me into a zero star. First, I'll need to grab hold of your soul. Casually. Now, take a deep breath. <gasps> ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting hungry. Why? There's something different about you. You can't escape your fate, Malin. This experiment of yours is over. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. Yeah, well, your body's heckin' dead, so once you die here, you're dead forever, Hata. Let me try and get him with some magics. Malin Varen. Uh, yo, he's got a ward up. Okay, let's go to third person. Looks like he's got a uh, Dromora Lord right there. Ooh! See if we can. Yeah, we're doing like no damage to this guy, so we need to watch the heck out. Boom! Ah, uh, I, I must have missed. We're doing damage now. Of course, our uh, blocking is blocking his stuff a little bit because it is a ward two, and we need to regen because we're dying, we're dying, we're dying. Oh my god! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I was about to say like, where is Jitargo? <laughs> he obviously isn't here. Sheesh! All right, we might wanna. Do you guys want to try and get him with Magicka, or what? Ah, uh, man, I don't know. We could get, we could try and do Flames. Of course, that cost basically nothing. And then we can get our Spellbreaker back out. Let's get our... Uh, oh my god, there's so much magics going on right now. I don't know if I want to use my Destruction. Of course, we're able to block more with this ward. And bam, oh my god, we're taking basically no damage here. I might want to actually... Yeah, let's go Let's go one-handed. Let's go one-handed. Gold, diamond, necklace, and one end. What else do we have here for one-handed? I don't see anything right now. Anyways, let's just get ourselves a Dragon Bone Dagger and let's keep this shield out. Let's slowly approach them. Let's try and take out his helpers, his disciples, his Dromoras. See if we'll be. Oh my god, we have to soak up so much damage. I don't know how much damage we'll take without the actual shield itself, but uh, we're doing decent damage to this guy. We're taking up a lot of damage as well, and he's down, he's down. Oh my god, oh, I think, oh man, I was falling off the heckin' world right there. Let's get some healing, let's get some healing. I just dropped off all my heckin' food, so I don't have any food. I could just start eating a bunch of heckin' shield cheese wheels. Let's worry about uh, the dead body here later. Actually, let's loot it right now. There might be juice. Oh my god, Deidre Heart. Yep, uh, nothing else inside there. All right, well, we have our, uh, God, let's keep blocking, let's keep blocking. Unfortunately, we can't, uh, move very fast whenever we're blocking with this ward, so that's kind of unfortunate. But we only have two more of these disciples or helpers, whatever you want to call them, the Dramora disciples, I guess I'll call them. We're taking a little bit of damage, and let's try and approach them, and let's try and get some damage with them one hand, and of course we could use our two hand and actually hit them, all of them at once. Now Unvarian's getting pretty weak. Oh, I'm getting pretty weak as well. Let's get some, oh, whoops, didn't need to do that. Uh, let's get some healing. I have almost no healing. Extreme healing! That is extreme! We got one down, and oh no! Malin's enchantments are broken. Hold on. I'm going to pull your soul out of there. Well, I'm heckin' dead, so... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no! Oh, we got sent all the way back here. Okay, okay, well, let's forget about the magic right now. We'll worry about that later. Let's just get our, uh, one-handed out. And let me get my proper, uh, my proper stuff, so my... Peerless drip. Which one's for, uh, I guess I could do two-handed, but then again, I can't block whenever that happens, so. Get that necklace of one-handed, and, uh, what else do we have here? Uh, yeah, this one right here. Yeah, it's just called a gold diamond ring. That's probably why I didn't notice it. Anyways, take me to the star. First, I'll need to grab hold of your soul. All right, then. Now, take a deep breath. <gasps> ah, my disciple. Can we skip? Yeah, we can skip. This is my realm now. All right, guys. Let's go stuff out. Oh, what in the world? I don't have my... There you go. He's going to call his disciples over. 
Let me try and get some free hits on him. Actually, hold on. What shouts do we have right now? We might have, uh, let's do, uh, Unrelenting Force. Although, yeah, we have Unrelenting Force, but he's going to set up a ward. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Man, Dramora Lord is doing his, uh, hey, the amount of damage to us. We need to watch out. We might be able to spawn in our own Dramora Lord, you guys. Although that's going to take up all of our magic, but we're not using, like, any magic right now, so might as well actually use it, right? Anyways, extreme healing. Oh my god, that was a waste. I just saw that. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to be around the corner. Oh my god, we're really low on health right now. Ultimate healing completely restores health. Let me get that, uh, Dr Daedra Heart right there. Anyways, let me get, uh, let me spawn in a Dramora Lord casually. Uh, is that it? There we go! Spawning in a Dramora Lord right now, guys. Let's get ourselves even more healing. Of course, I could use, uh, something else. But there you go! Dramora Lord's gonna be taking this guy on. We're doing good damage, but we're taking a lot of damage as well. Oh my god! Remember, our armor isn't that good, and our health is reduced because we do not have that one, uh, that one thing. So that's unfortunate. That guy's down. Nice. Alright. Dramora Lord's trying to take on other guys, even though they're literally dead. Go get them! Go get them! They're all the way over here. We have this guy. Can't get him with his free throw down right now. That's unfortunate. We can block. Can't. I can shield bash him, but that's, that's not really going too much. I'm already almost dead. There we go. Get him. Get him. What are you doing? Kill that fellow Dramora fella. There you go. Good job. No, I think he died. He's down. Okay, well, this is the last one, and then we can take on Malon Varen himself. Oh, he's going, oh, he's going to fall off. Do not fall off. All right. Quick save, and let's get ourselves another potion of ultimate healing. There we go. Might want to get our shield out. Or actually, we already have it out. Start blocking. There he is here at the end. Is that his last guy? I guess it is. He's just kind of standing there doing nothing. There you are. Yeah, I might want to... Oh my god, one more hit and he's down, he's down! Yeah! Malin's enchantments are broken. Hold on. I'm going to pull your soul out of there. Brace yourself. All right, then. Man, that was, that was actually crazy harder than I thought it'd be, you know? Is it gonna work? Oh man, I'm gonna be trapped. Oh no, it's working! It's working! Yes! Hey, how's it going? Oh, what in the world? Where is he? Was I in bed? Easy there. The numbness will pass. Just don't strain yourself. Alright then. We've done it. The star has been cut from Azora, and Malin's soul finally has some measure of peace, even if it is non-existence. <laughs> What do we do with it now? Ooh, I guess it's just a big old black soul gem that can be reused over and over and over again, I guess, right? If it's fixed, then it's mine, yep. Go ahead, take it. I'd sooner finally put this chapter of my life behind me. All right, then. Congratulations. You've altered the fate of a Daedric artifact and lived. And lived to tell the tale. Why do you live here at the end? <laughs> Casually just saying that right after we ah, kill Malamir and all that kind of stuff. I still have research that keep keeps me busy. And being here in Winterhold ensures I have access to- Yeah, we, we found out about that earlier on, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, then. All right, then. All right. Well, I literally just said all right, then, and then all right again. Jeez. Well, anyways, I guess we could just do some more missions here, you guys, and actually use our uh, destruction spells as well as blocking uh, stuff like that, which, honestly, our blocking was really good right there. You guys saw we basically took, like, no damage. Uh, we, we, of course, we were taking a little bit of damage, but uh, not quite as much as we would with uh, normal blocking, because it blocks like actually i think i don't know because those were magic spells and the ring says it only does it for uh but then again i wasn't wearing a ring the second time around because i was wearing my one-handed ring so i don't know maybe it's just because that ward is nmlg as heck i don't know what kind of ward it is what kind of does it say i, I think i checked this a little while ago uh creates a ward that protects against spell oh spells up to 50 points yeah that's really good though hmm so i guess those big old explosion spells and whatnot they're getting uh I guess they're getting reduced to heck, but if it was like a huge, ex uh, a huge spell, it wouldn't block it, I suppose. So that's kind of interesting. But anyways, we can go back to fireballs. I love using that fireball because it does it, it does the explosion. I have to be too accurate with it, and now they cost basically nothing. Oh my god. Nah. Yeah, I'm, even whenever I'm not wearing the rings, they cost basically nothing, and magical regen is super duper fast, so I might not need, I might not need to wear the rings, but I'll, I'll wear them anyways, just because they're so heckin' good, it's crazy. Two ended, uh, the, the unfortunate thing is that I forgot to name them, so it's kind of hard for me to see which ones do what magical regenerates 56% 56, 56 faster, uh, destruction spells 28% cast, blah blah blah, I guess I could do this one, yeah, make them sp and yeah, I'm like, Magicka seems to be regenerating about as fast as it was just moments ago. So let me go back to Gold Ring, and let me go back to Eminent Destruction. 
Yeah? Seems like that doesn't really help out very much, but this eminent destruction one makes them a lot cheaper. I could definitely see that there on the bottom left corner, yeah. Alright, well, I think I'm going to keep the eminent destruction and the, uh, the magic and necklace. That definitely seems like it's a really good, uh, combination. But anyways, let's go look at our, uh, quests and see what else we have to do. Remember, I had, like, 50,000 quests, like, just moments ago. Uh, like, two episodes ago or so by now. Oh, learn the final word of the Durinvir shout. Okay, I guess we could do that right about now. I don't think I have it, uh... Favorite, so let's go over here to summon Blobbity Bloop. There he is, right there. Let's learn the last word of power. Oh, yeah, we have to do it the ground. What in the world? It's not working. Um, do we already have them all? No, we don't because we have the quest, don't we? Oh, wait, hold on. What if we did the uh, the shot itself? Is that going to summon him or something like that? I don't know. Summon Duravair. It doesn't seem to be working. I'm like, I'm pointing it at the ground. Is it because I'm on a mountain? I don't know if it is. Uh, I'm like, it shouldn't matter. I think I was on the mountain the first time. There we go. Alright then. Feel the last word of soul tearing within yourself. Zoe. The unlife that results when a soul is imprisoned in dead flesh. Whoa, what? Well, that's kind of crazy. Well, now we have all the words for souls here. Completely learned the final word of Duravir shouts. All right, well, I guess now we know the whole entire shout, and now we have to unlock the final word. Essence Terror Zombie. You know, with Thum cuts through flesh and shatters soul, commanding the will of the falling. All right, well, that's kind of cool. I don't know how different that is. I, I wanted to test it out a little while ago, but I guess it didn't do it. But uh, I don't know how different that is compared to, like, Ray Zombie and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, I never really used those anyways, so I suppose we'll just uh, myth bust that a little bit later. Like, what? can I use it on this goat? I don't know if I can. I think I have it uh, favorited, don't I? Soul Terror. Let me get that favorited. It might work on, like, a humanoid critter. Well, let me kill this goat. Ba-boom! Man, he's going- Oh! Oh! Snow Bear! Snow Bear! Let me get him with a million egg and fireballs third person time. Man, look at this. We're killing him hardcore. And he's- down oh, Burning the Snow Bear! Rest in peace, Polar Bear. Bear claws. Okay. Can I use it on him? Ah, oh, yeah, my shout cool- Yeah. I remember I wanted to test it out a little while ago, and I was like, yeah. The shout cooldown is on. I can't quite use it just yet. I think the cooldown is like, what, 10 minutes or something like that? Like 300 seconds? Or uh, 5 minutes? Not 10 minutes. Uh, anyways, we've got some uh, Imperial Folk and some Prisoner fella. I guess I could free and then they'll be like sour with me. I don't know if I want to do that. It's Civil War stuff just yet. Uh, I suppose, nah. Yeah, we'll, we'll test out the race zombie thing a little bit later. God, I, I said that last time, didn't I? Sheesh. Anyways, what in the world? There's two dead goats here. Did I kill two of them at the same time? Two birds with one stone, two goats with one fireball? The <laughs> Anyways, what did I say I wanted to do? Uh oh, yeah. I was looking at the stuff and saw the shouts one. Uh, purchase the house in Markarth. I don't really care about that right now. Uh, find the source of power in the Thunderstone Gorge. That sounds like some sort of cave exploration thing. That might be a good opportunity for us to test out our brand new fireballs and all that kind of stuff. And we could just, like, straight up use flames, too. That costs basically no magic now, I bet, right? Ask Dior about Baldor's disappearance. I don't even know who both of them are, but uh, let's just do it in whatever order this is in. Uh, I guess we could do the find the source of power in Thunderstone Gorge. Is there anything else, like, right off the bat that's, like, interesting to me, though? Uh, locate a clue about Branch Chain's past. That's the guy that we sent to jail, didn't we? Uh, I guess I can't really locate a clue about it unless, uh, oh, okay, never mind. I was about to say, like, can I not, like, locate a clue unless I just stumble across it? But I guess it has a literal quest marker. Does this guy not see quest markers in his life? Because I oh, jeez, that's it, I'm gonna fall. Can I just fast travel? Uh, yeah, didn't he say, like, uh, let me go here. Because I'm, I'm, I'm on the side of a heckin' cliff. I don't want to be on the side of a... I just end up dying. So, of course, I could be on a Skyrim horse. But if I fall whenever I'm on a Arvac, uh, we'll both die. So, I don't want to worry about that. Now, we've already been inside this journeyman's nook. It looks like there's a fella inside here, too. Bad time to get lost. Bad time to get lost. Bad time to get lost. This guy's taking, like, no damage. Boom! Yeah, we're... He's taking, like, no damage from our fireballs, too. Just rushing up to 66, though. We'll be able to increase our... Stuff a little bit more, although I think it is already maxed out, isn't it? Uh, a little bit of, Oh, man, I took his whatever that was. Gold dagger, uh, whatever dagger, steel dagger. I don't need that garbage. Staff of Smarts, we got that from, uh, 
whatever that guy is, Malinvar, and we got it from him. Not really that good, though. A little bit of bread, nice, tasty, delicious. Ooh, coin purse. Like a goat, whoa, ooh, don't mind if I do. Tastes good, smells good. All right, well, June and Pepper Eddies. June and Pepper Eddies. <laughs> All right, well, what else do we have here? The Furnament, Frostbite, uh, Venom, don't eat that garbage. What's in the knapsack? What's in the sack? Uh, decent stuff. I don't really care about the rest, though. All right, well, I only fast traveled over here so I can... Oh, Dragon Time! Oh, wait, hold on. I might be able to raise Zombie or uh, Soul Terror, this guy. It doesn't work on... It does. Meta Marauder resists Assault. God, I guess I can't do it to Humanoids. All right, well, that kind of sucks. Now we have to wait for that then to cool down. Yeah. All right, well, we heard it. Yep, there's a dragon up there. I don't know if that's Durin or whatever his name was. I don't know. Maybe it is. Who knows? Well, anyways, let's go down here to, I guess, maybe like some sort of shipwreck or something like that. I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. It's been like a million years since we started this mission or this quest. Oh, we've got uh, wisps or uh, whatever they're called, right? I forget. What are they called? I don't know. Huh. There we go. Got him. Wisp core. Yeah, I got it right for once. Sheesh. Did I get them both? I think I, oh, whoa, I got them both right there. Of course, these do give us a uh, load us. That's kind of interesting. And a wisp mother. Can we get her from here? Oh, uh, she's coming over here. Let's go to the third person. Ooh, look at that. Just articles got the right idea. Get this wisp mother. Oh, man. My stamina just got drained from something. Probably from the, yeah, probably from the ice. Oh, man. A fake news wisp, mo wisp mother. Fake news wisp mother. Kill the real one! Yes, and it kills both! Nice, let's get some regions. Boom, fast healing. I don't know if there's anything better in fast healing, though. Of course, like, ooh, we can always dual wield these. You know, do double-handed fast healings. Like, low dust and wisp wrappings. Not bad at all. Alright, well, let's keep going, uh, I guess this way. It's kind of convenient that this mission was, like, right here, basically. Because, uh, we could just basically just walk there. I guess we could spawn in Narvac. I guess we could, yeah, that's what's, what's stopping us, hey dude. Ba boom Nice! And ride the Arvac, alright. Two badges, out of go. Can't spawn in an Arvac. Oh, we got some... Mm, horkers. They're not gonna harm me, I don't think, right? Because they know about the Horker meme, right? Are they gonna do anything? No, yeah, they're not doing anything. Okay, that's good. Well, just out of go. I know that you're a cat. I'm a cat, too. We're supposed to be, like, afraid of water or whatever. But now the water's freezing, so sucks to be you, right? Jeez. <laughs> alright, well, yeah. Speaking of shipwreck. Oh, another bear right there. I guess we could just run away. Speaking of shipwreck, it does look like there's like a wrecked ship over here. I guess that's where we're going to learn about that guy's past. Is over here in this ship and mmm. -mm. Wrecked ships? Juicy loot? They're not too far apart from each other, you know that. So, man, I'm glad that we're doing this mission to get ourselves a bunch of heckin' loot. I thought we'd get way more loot from that Malinvarin, like, soul dimension thing. And there's even a standing stone over there. I guess we can see if that standing stone is worth having our ethereal crown, uh, you know, wearing that. Uh, what is our helmet? I think our helmet is magical regen 56% better or something like that. So, uh, it might be better to... But then again, we'd have no armor rating from it. Or either that or, like, one armor. What in the world are they talking about? Bandit? Bandit Chief! Wreck at the pride of the Del Telvos. Telvos. I just killed the Bandit Chief. Bandit Chief would be like really MLG, but we're actually taking her out pretty easily with the fireballs. And I assume just Otico got a couple hits right there as well. Elven Dagger, don't need that garbage. Nordic stuff right there is pretty good. Uh, looks like. Do we go here? It looks like we do. Alright, let's kill this guy. Oh, come on. Ba boom! Oh, wait, whoa, I thought that was just Otico right there next to me, but this guy's hacking. Dude! They're both dead now. Nice. Get a little bit. Oh, man. I keep getting these daggers. I don't know why I keep picking them up. They're trash. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. Long pick. Don't eat that garbage. Let's see. What's inside of the chest? Uh, some sort of journal from Limdren Tenvani. Ooh, I guess we could read it because it is a part of the quest. Return to Branch A. I guess I'll return to him after we take a little sneak peek at his journal or his parents' journal or something like that. I don't know. All right. Well, that was kind of easy. I thought we'd have to... Go inside of a huge ship, but then again, I did say it was shipwrecked, so it kind of makes sense this place is completely broken, right? Alright, well, we're not the first people to come over here and loot the ship, so they probably brought all the juicy loot over here, which is easy for us, because we don't have to explore a whole thing. Let's just check the chest and see if there's any ju 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 juicy loot lying within. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> They got it. Well, then again, we, we can still go inside of it, right? Like, uh, that's where the bandit chief was just moments ago. She was, like, up these stairs. And, yeah, there's still, like, another guy, like, inside. Or, oh, yeah, there's a scaring chest, but there's another fella. Oh, it's a wolf. Ice wolf. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Try and anticipate where it's going to be. I think we got it. Yeah, look at that. Barely clipped it right there. Ah, it's gone now. Ah. 
page is article. You missed out on a cute couple battles there. Uh, honeycomb is nice. Honey Nut Cheerios. I don't think there's anything else inside here. I'm not sponsored, by the way. I wish I was. Gah. Getting demonetized videos every five seconds and all that kind of stuff. Getting, like, no money. I'm only in it for the money, right? I'm like, you guys know that. I'm, I've been saying it this whole heckin' series. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, I don't think there's anything else over here. So let's go back upstairs and let's go see what's inside that juicy, gigantic heckin' Skyrim chest. I don't think we're going to need to worry about uh, empty- Oh, yeah, I already got the honeycombs from that, yeah. Empty wine bottles. Something I don't think I mentioned on camera. Something, uh, you can tell about these wine bottles is that if they have a cork on the top, if they have a cork on the top, that means they're regular wine bottles, but if they don't have a cork on the top, that means they're an empty wine bottle, so that's a quick, fast- Oh my god, I saw that bear trap and ran into it anyways. <laughs> I don't really like good stuff inside there. Man, just thought go. you going to step on that bear trap? Step on it. What are you going to do? Step on it. Step on it. He's stepping on it and nothing's happening! Oh my god! Come on, get over here, just out I go. Come on! Oh, he stepped on it again! Come on, step on it. Ah, he's too smart. Ah, man! Whatever! <laughs> oh, let's just go over here to the stand. Oh, I can see the, the stone edge thing over there. Let's go spawn in yet another Arvac. Wait, which one? Oh, I think both of them are Arvac spawning spells. Look at that! This spawn in, like I said, uh, like five, six episodes ago when we got the Aatrox down or whatever. Spawning an Arvac now takes like a fifth, maybe a fourth of our uh, magicka compared to what it used to be. Another order mm. right there. No need to worry about that guy. He's, going, he's, he's a friendly fella. No need to worry about him. Let's keep going over here to this standing stone. I don't know what it is. I guess we have to go around to kind of gain some elevation to the top of the mountain or glacier or whatever this is. I don't know. Skyrim horse though. Can we just scatter? Oh my god, I'm like clipping through the thing. Oh my god. This is legitimately clipping through the thing. Oh, come on. Almost got it. Almost got it to the top. Ba boom! We made it. Nice. Probably missed out on a bunch of uh stuff. Ah, whatever. We can just figure that out once we discover the standing stone itself. The serpent stone discovered. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. Sounds very devilish. The serpent stone. Once a day, those under the sign of the serpent can use a ranged paralyzing poison on opponents. Ooh. Although then again, can't I just like freeze people from afar using the uh? I forgot what it is, or even time slow to basically paralyze them in time. Eh, I guess there's a bunch of different ways to get basically the same thing done, but I don't, I don't really like the Serpent Stone. Don't really say, oh no, there goes our back. Whoops, guess I could spawn in another one and get my friend back. <laughs> uh, speaking of my friend, where's my friend Jazadagul? Where is he at? He hasn't Skyrim horsed up here yet, I get. Oh, there's a fellow over here, another uh, Wisps, I guess. Oh, Ice Wraith. God, I keep calling him wrong. Ah, I finally get it right for once, and then I get it wrong again. God. Yeah, let's use flames and fireballs. Let's see how much uh, Magicka Flames uses. Oh my god. Flames uses basically no egg in Magicka. Look at that. I've been using it for like a solid 10, 15 seconds by now, and it's only used that much Magicka there on the bottom left corner. Sheesh. I'm just using exclusively... Yep, there you go. Just kill that thing using exclusively flames. Man, that was crazy. All right, well, let's keep going down here. All right, then. <laughs> let's keep going down here and see if we can find any... Uh, Stuff in the proper path to get upwards. Oh, yep, speaking of the proper path, we found it. I just ought to go take it the proper path upwards. I don't think there's anything else over here. We're probably going to run into the world border. And uh, it's not like a fan. Oh, spiky grass. I don't know if that's new to me. Uh, the world border in Skyrim is just a little thing that says, You cannot go any further, or something like that. So it's not like a fancy little Hunger Games looking world border or anything like that, you know? Or I guess uh, Battle Royale, PUBG. Fortnite. That's the new trendy version of it, right? <laughs> Basically the same stuff, right? Fireball time. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, firebolt. I took the wrong one. Uh, fireball. There we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot I put on a, uh, another thing. Yeah. And we need to prime these guys with flames. And hopefully do more damage to the polar bears. Global warming folk don't like what I'm doing right now. Extinctifying the polar bears way faster. <laughs> now they're reckon dead. Hey, no, what are you going to do? All right, well, we got another one over here. Another polar bear shall be- Oh, two more polar bears shall be inflamed in my magics. Jazariko is probably taking damage, so let's try not to take that, uh, kill that one. Then again, Jazariko is doing some good damage right there, not bad. Hey, I'm on your side. Hey, be careful. Uh, I guess I could just do double dual wielding flames. Watch it. I'm not even hitting you right now. I, I know I was hitting you like five seconds ago, but not right now. Look at how much magic we have. And let's let it regen. He's regenerating so heckin' fast right now. Oh my god. Look at that bear just chilling out in the water. See, he's not dead. He's just he's just relaxing in the water. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, jeez. All right, well, let's go. Uh, I kind of want to just come over here and just, like, see what's over here just before we uh, continue on and all that stuff. See if we run into a world border. But I'm not seeing anything right now. I'm not seeing, uh, like, any icons, like cave icons or anything like that. Oh, a little frost bear. Or, uh, frost bear. <laughs> a little uh, snow bear. Or a uh, snow fox. God. We have some quicksilver over here. Don't know if I want a silver. Oh, man. Quicksilver and regular silver. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I take both. See if we can get some gems from these as well. Silver ore. And, nah, there's nothing else there. All right. All right, then. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, let's read that guy's journal here in a second. See what it says, and then I guess we can return to him. I guess he's still in, uh... I think it was White Run Jail, or ah, I forget where exactly it is, but whatever. Let's go here. Let's read it. Uh, where was it? There it is, right there. I think Limdrin, Limdrin Tenvani. Let's read it. How long is it though? Uh, yeah, we could read it. It's only like a few pages. Brandle, I hope this text of your father's last words finds its way to your hands. I don't think that's the name of the guy, is it? I don't know. I served House Telvani as a wet nurse during your first months of life and wanted to repay your father's kindness. I've done all I can to locate you, but I regret that it will never meet face to face. Hitra Olin. Fourth Era, Six, Second Seed. Midas, is this the end of all things? Are we to die by the cruel barbed blades of the Argonian invasion force? After surviving the Red Year, struggling to dig from the ash and rubble, and burying thousands that died, is this to be our epitaph? The irony of our demise glows brighter than Masser or Masser on the summer solstice. The irony of our demise glows brighter than Masser on the summer solstice. We brought this upon ourselves, the Argonians simply answering a rallying cry incited by a millennia of suffrage imposed by my kind. And so here I sit, in the crumbling basement of our family home, while a thousand thousand booted feet echo above me, and the screams of my dying find their way to my ears. So falls House Telvani. But then I look into the eyes of this child, this blessing given to us the very year that Vardenfall, or Wardenfall, I don't know, spouted its fiery death across the land. This gift I hold my grasp, is it too much to wish he'd be given the chance to survive and keep our memories alive? This small boy, born in the midst of chaos and destruction, must carry on, if nothing else, as a reminder to the Dunmer that the Telvani were once a proud and noble people. Since the death of my wife, I haven't been able to bring myself to give my son a proper name. It never felt right without her, but my own life reaches its final hours. As the luxury of time escapes my embrace, I name him now Brandel, son of Limdrin, and sole living heir to House Telvani. I will wrap him in his tolia, whatever that is, probably a towel or something like that, I don't know, his birthing swaddle, ah, I guess that's what it is, okay, and leave his fate to Azira's will. Now, speaking of Azira, we just crossed paths with Azira just moments ago, didn't we? Sheesh. Live with virtue and pride, Sarah. All right. I guess that's it. All right, then. Well, it's kind of a cool little story right there. Let me go tell this guy that story of his life and his real name, which I guess he already has his name. And don't we go to Riften? Isn't that where? Yeah, Riften. Yeah, get a branch. Hey, he's the guy that we uh, framed in Riften, Mr. Will Keep. Kind of like the first mission of the Thieves Guild, like a, a part of like a, a thing to get in the Thieves Guild, whatever that's called. I forgot what it's called. Whoops. <laughs> Anyways, let's go inside the Riften jail and let's go give him the book if we can, if it's illegal. Or at least, you know, tell him the story of his life or whatever, if that's what we have to do. I guess I guess we'll do either one. Yeah, see right here? This has a cork on it. That means uh, you can actually drink it. So it actually has stuff inside of it. From what I hear, you're the one gave the Thalmor a black eye. Sure know how to pick your enemies, don't you? Yeah, everyone's my enemy, as well as everyone's my friend. It's kind of crazy, I know. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if there's any more uh, loot around here. I mean, like, we could just basically take everything. Like, it's not even stealing. Speaking of stealing, pickpocket. Yeah, we need to be a little bit more careful nowadays, you guys, because uh, we don't have the... Oh, well, then again, our pickpocketing is completely maxed. So I don't think we really... Oh, yeah. I can literally just take this stuff, but of course, pickpocketing means stealing, so... I need to watch out for that. But, uh, do, 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 do. there we go. Taking all this stuff. Don't mind if I do. Coin, but literally free coin purses. Don't mind if I do. That's what I love to see. Hey, no. Grabbing that mind of magic. Coin purse right there. Bear and barrel with. Oh, yeah, this is the, uh, the prisoner stuff. But I'm not in prison, am I? So I don't need to worry about that. But let's go down to this guy and tell him a story. At least give him the book or whatever. Fear for the boy. I'm a sword man myself. Wait, what in the world? Do I have a bow out? I don't even have a book. What in the world are you talking about? Ah, you probably saw my quiver. All right, Branche, I have a, I have your story. 
If you're ever in the market, I deal in specialty goods from Morrowind at one of the stands. Yeah, right. You're in heck and shit. <laughs> ah, I found a book that might help your search. Let me see that. Yes, yes. This is it. I don't know how you found this, stranger, but you've obviously succeeded where I had failed. Please, let me offer you this key. It unlocks my strongbox under my stand in the marketplace. Help yourself to anything inside. <laughs> it's probably already empty, jeez, knowing me, right? Jeez. All right, well, completed. Return I the really ranch. I appreciate what you've done for me. I'll never forget it. All right, then. When is this guy going to get out of jail? Azura's wisdom to you, friend. Yeah, I've got Azura's star. Wait, yeah, I actually have it, don't I? Uh, Azura's star. Wait, do I have it? He gave it to me, didn't we? Oh, the black star. That's what it's called. Okay. And it's empty. Can I hold it? Nah, I can't hold it. Whatever. But uh, look at that thing. Can I, how do I zoom? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, it's still broken, though. No, 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 no. No, it's got like a... It had a missing gem last time, but it's still like broken. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, I just realized. Remember when we were inside and there were like curved paths and stuff? That makes sense because we we're literally inside of it. I forgot about that. Yeah, I didn't even realize. I didn't put two and two together when we were inside. Uh, we started like here and then this was the center. That's where we killed the guy. That's where we teleported out. We were in the center of the big area. Yeah, man. These I really appreciate what you've done for me. I'll never forget it. Yeah, you just, yeah, I know you won't forget it. You just told me again. God. <laughs> ah, I could literally take the stuff inside of this guy's room. No matter what I do. Where's this guy going to get out of jail? College. Heard about you. Nah, whatever. Can I, I'll take this guy's food. Take the bit of potatoes. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. Telekinesis. Can I actually take the stuff inside there right now? Oh my god. Telekinesis. You go to the B and Bob. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys, I'm taking his yeah, second stuff! Back. I'm taking his second stuff! Alteration up to 28. Can I take that, uh... Oh, I thought that was a coin purse, but it's Nord Mead. And, oh yeah, we ran out of magic, but thankfully... Well, hold on, this is Alteration. I don't have any buffs for Alteration right now, so that's probably why everything's taking like a bunch of heckin' magicka, but... Thankfully, my magical regens... Oh, heckin' fast. Boom, took that Talto wine. There's another bed in there. He I guess he doesn't have a cellmate inside there, huh? Can I wake him up by using telekinesis? Ba boom I guess I can't. Alright, whatever. Alright then. Alright, well, I guess that's it. Uh, I guess I can't find out. Uh, ah, boom, that opened that up with a heckin' rift and jail key, right? I guess I could drop another heckin' jail key, like, inside one of these rooms. That'll be good to go, right? Jeez. Mm -hmm. I probably have, like, a thousand of them just by pickpocketing all the guards. Well, anyways, let me take that, uh, Petty Soul Gem. I love how I can take the Petty Soul Gem, but take you this heckin' iron seat or, uh, iron helmet that's basically trash. That's, ooh, that's against the law. Yeah, to cast your fancy magic. Yeah, you think, uh, Telekinesis is like super duper fancy, even though it is. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm good to go here, you guys. Let me just uh, grab that wine for free. Boom. Take that basket. Oh, I'm holding in front of me, getting my alteration up. Nice. Alright, well, I guess that's it. Uh, pick my this guy as well. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, I get more of these rifting. Get yeah, let me go uh, Let me go throw a jail key for this guy. Telekinesis it into his room if I can even do that, right? Oh, take all that. Don't mind if I do. And ba boom. Hey, how's it going? Did I already pick pocket this guy? I did. All right. Let me drop uh, one of these keys in here. What is it called? A Rift and Jail key or something like that? God, we have to go all the way down here. Key to. Oh man, it might be. I think it is Rift and Jail key, isn't it? Should be easy to find. Yep, here we go, right here. I have like a thousand of them. Might as well drop at least. Ah, I can't drop. Ah, man, that would have been a funny meme. Just give him the heckin' key. <laughs> ah, take his belt to tune it that he's literally wearing. Don't mind if I do. She's literally taking the clothes off of a jail person. She's a yep. savage as heck. All right, well, I guess I'm good to go here. You guys got that mission nice and out of the way. I'm liking doing these miscellaneous missions. I hope you guys are as well. It's really cool just tying up these random loose ends that we completely forgot that we had, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I think this episode is getting kind of long. I only really wanted to record, like, one episode today, so it's probably going to be, like, a 40-minute episode or something like that, so eh, either way, it's not too bad, right? But anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below and if you guys want more of these awesome videos be sure to hit that subscribe button that'll put my latest videos on a youtube homepage as soon as they come out so you do not miss an episode but until then thank you guys all very much for watching and i will see you guys here next time with some more skyrim remastered where i guess you know the next mission we want to do i kind of want to do that one 
where was it? It's not a miscellaneous one. It's uh, this one right here, served cold. Definitely want to do one of these bigger ones, these bigger top tier ones. So whenever we come back, we're going to be doing served cold. We're going to need to go to Raven Rock or whatever to do that mission. So definitely look forward to that. But uh, until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Skyrim Remastered. Oh, bye there.